Hello all. I'll be uploading a series of videos on the concepts of linear algebra for the next couple of weeks. It's all about visually understanding the concepts of linear algebra. There are different topics in linear algebra like vector spaces, linear combination, linear span, subspaces, linear transformation and many more. Let's understand these concepts one by one. So first concept I'll take up is all about vector spaces. So what is a vector space? So before going to the formal definition of vector space, let us consider a plane, plane you know, a square, over the set of all, uh, field of all reals. So let's consider the plane a square. You know that in plane there are infinite points and each point is represented using the ordered pair x, y. So each point is associated with a vector and we denote usually it as xi cap plus yj cap. i cap is unit vector along x axis and j cap is unit vector along y axis. So now this any point is associated with the respective vector. So R square is full of vectors. So when you have different vectors in the plane R square, how it becomes a vector space over the field R? Let's check with the axioms one by one. So R square under vector addition should be an abelian group. So what is an abelian group? It has to satisfy all these five laws. Closure law in the sense, with respect to vector addition, when you take any two vectors, their sum is also in the same plane. So that is true. So using the triangle law of addition, you can uh, bring it here and the resultant is also coming here. So it won't go out of the plane. Associative law says that uh, the order of the operation is immaterial, result will be same. That is all about V vector plus W vector plus Z vector equal to V plus W plus Z vector. So order is immaterial, answer remains same. Identity, there is always zero vector which you add to any vector will uh, give you the same vector. So that's about identity law. Inverse, every vector has its negative vector that becomes its inverse. Commutative law, again order of the addition is immaterial, both are giving you the same answer. V vector plus W vector gives same answer as W vector plus V vector. So it's abelian group with respect to vector addition. Now I can have one more operation called a scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication means it is all about scaling a vector. Scaling a vector in the sense either you have to stretch that vector or you have to squeeze that vector increase the length or decrease the length. Decreasing the length can be done in the opposite direction or increase the length in the same direction. Anything is fine. So if you go in the same direction, it becomes positive value. If you go in the opposite direction, it becomes negative value. So lambda into V vector, we represent it as a scalar multiple of the given vector V vector. Lambda positive means it is in the same direction. Lambda negative means it is in the opposite direction. So such a mapping you are defining from R to R square, R square r cross r square to r square means the whatever the new vector you will get that should be in the same plane r square and it is a vector it is not a scalar such that it has to satisfy distributive associative and action of one so identity with respect to scalar multiplication distributive in the sense alpha plus beta into v vector gives you alpha vector plus beta into v vector both gives you the same answer associativity means alpha beta into v is equal to alpha into beta into v. Here we are doing the scalar multiplication with beta first, later we are taking it with alpha. Here we are multiplying two scalars first, later we are multiplying that to vector. If you do in any way, this says that both are equal. Action of 1 means 1 is the multiplicative identity. So when you multiply 1 to scalarly, 1 scalar is a scalar. When you multiply that to any vector, it gives you the same vector. There is no change in the vector. It remains same. So if all these axioms are satisfied, then that becomes a vector space over the given field R. So R square over R is a vector space. So there, uh, there, are, there is a formal definition of vector space here. I have written it here. What is a vector space? You have a non-empty set equipped with the two binary operations, vector addition and scalar multiplication. You have to define how the vector addition is. U plus V belongs to V. Alpha belongs to the scalar uh, and uh, U belongs to V. Alpha into U belongs to V. It's said to be a vector space if it is uh, an abelian group with respect to addition vector addition and all these axioms are satisfied then it becomes a vector space so r square clearly r square is a vector space over r we have verified here 
So, for similarly, R power n over R is always a vector space. And these are all real vector spaces because they are uh, uh, over the field of a real number. So, these are called as real vector spaces. Over the field of complex numbers or any other field, you can have these vector spaces. Fn over F. F is general any field. So, Fn over F is always a vector space. Some other examples of vector spaces are matrix space. A set of all M by N matrices with entries in the field F. That also becomes a vector space because uh, sum of any two matrices is again a matrix. Associative law holds with respect to addition. Identity exists zero with a zero matrix. Inverse exists negative of that matrix. Commutative satisfies with respect to uh, matrix addition. Similarly, with respect to scalar multiplication, you can scale a matrix like a 2A matrix is given. 2A you can find out. So, and uh, distributive associative action of 1, everything is satisfied with respect to the matrix uh, addition and uh, scalar multiplication. Hence, it becomes a vector space. Polynomial space. Set of all polynomials which are of the form where a i is uh, coefficients are taken from the field f it's a vector space over the field of uh, over the given field f polynomial space p n of t it's a specific case where uh, degree of this polynomial is less than or equal to n we are con 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 including all those polynomials which are of degree less than or equal to n like uh, degree less than or equal to cubic polynomials <laughs> less than or equal to 3 means cubic may be quadratic uh, linear or constant polynomials anything you can include in such case so that becomes a vector space over the given field f whereas if you take pn of t which is uh, equal to some some polynomial it is uh, a naught plus a1 some polynomial of degree of p of t equal to n in this case, it is not a vector space because if degree, like if you take a degree of uh, the given polynomial should be 3, in that case, it need not be closed with respect to addition. For example, if you have x cube plus 3 and another polynomial on x cube uh, minus 5, minus x cube minus 5, when you add these two polynomials, the usual addition, in that case, x cube minus x cube cancels, whatever comes, that is a constant polynomial which is of not degree 3. So, in that case, any thing which is degree of p of t, if it is equal to n, then it becomes uh, not a vector space, then it does not become a <coughs> vector space. Next, function space f of x. All functions from x to f, where x is a set, that also forms a vector space. So, this is all about vector spaces. So, the main vector space you have to remember is R square because all the visualization process that we can uh, explain with the help of the plane. So, this becomes one of the uh, important uh, vector spaces out of all the examples. R square, the plane over the set of all real numbers as a field is a vector space. So, this is all about the definition of a vector space. So, in the next video, I will be um, explaining about what is linear combination, linear uh, span and subspaces. I will come up with all those videos. Thank you for watching.